and to the one, and to the back, and to the, and to the back, and to the chest, to clap, and to the chest, to the clap, and chest, to clap, and chest, to clap, and to the radio, 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 radio. Very good! Radio, 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 radio. You are visiting me here in the south of France. University, 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 yo! Which is one of the locations where I do uh, my drum camps. Listen to the radio, listen to the radio, listen. It's always exciting and beautiful and wonderful to see people develop and and uh, and play the drums and learn about drums and I like my job hi my name is Benny Greb I'm a drummer musician uh, band leader author educator, human. I cannot compare playing drums on stage and hosting a drum camp. It's very difficult because I really like it both a lot. I had parts of my life where I did the one thing more than the other and then I was missing the other. So it's a very different energy. I like the interaction and the close, intimate kind of contact of, of, of teaching and learning together. Um, but I also, of course, love music and just performing and traveling to other countries. Both of them really gives me uh, a lot of energy and, and, um, and inspires me. If you really are very, very good at the fundaments, um, it uh, makes you sound amazing, actually, and, and makes it sound, uh, can make a simple thing, simple, whatever that means, sound very magical. And I think that everyone can benefit from this. I I really like the metaphorical uh, uh, comparison between my life as a drummer, my function in a band, in, in the music as a drummer, which is to manage the time, to be a timekeeper myself, um, to not get faster, not get slower, so to not speed up and slow down, and um, trying to learn this skill to do that. This is a big part of a drummer's life, to be good at this. And um, I'm very similar, I feel a kinship to, to these wonderful timepieces. einfach irgendjemanden eine Uhr geben und sagen, trag die mal, wenn er, wenn er nicht zu uns passt und wenn er nicht diese Faszination Uhr lebt. Und Benny ist, das habe ich eben da auf den ganzen Fotos gesehen, die er vorher immer gepostet hat, sage ich, ja, der Mann, der mag ja Uhren, ich sehe ja, was er da am Handgelenk trägt. So, lass uns den mal anrufen, weil das ist ein Enthusiast. Ich weiß, dass er wahnsinnig sympathisch ist, der könnte zu uns passen. Und wenn du natürlich, wie ich, jetzt selber Schlagzeuger bist und eine Faszination für das hast, dann gehst du natürlich auf die Knie, wenn du jemanden wie Benny Grippe bekommst, weil er ist einfach verdammt nochmal der Beste. Du erklärst mir jetzt noch vorher was. Erst spielst du was und dann meckere ich ja, dran rum. Ich hier meine Sticks. Nee, die habe ich dir weggetan. Du spielst mit denen. <lacht> I 
I don't like that if I want to know the time that I have to take out a device that is connected to the world, has a lot of messages, a lot of people that want to have my attention maybe, um, whether I like it or not. And I like to have checking out how, what time it is to have that in an analog of the grid device that does that very reliably. And th there's a fascination for me to this anyway, and I think it also looks nice. Ich bin jetzt Schlagzeuger schon über 30 Jahre und ich weiß halt einfach aus Erfahrung, dass die Beanspruchung äh, bei einem Schlagzeuger am aller, allerhöchsten ist. Also man redet immer vom Golfer, man redet vom Astronauten, vom Piloten, aber wenn du mal gesehen hast, wenn ein Schlagzeuger mit der linken Hand richtig voll durchzieht und auf die Trommel schlägt, dann ist das wahrscheinlich das Härteste, was du so einer Uhr antun kannst. Und äh, ich habe ja auch immer mit meiner Fortis gespielt. So. Und da hat es nie was ausgemacht, sage ich, okay, aber wir brauchen irgendwie noch mal jemanden, einen Profi, der wirklich Tag und Nacht spielt, ständig auf der Welt unterwegs ist äh, und sich voll darauf verlassen muss. Der braucht ein funktionales Instrument, wo er sich keine Gedanken machen muss, ob irgendwas kaputt geht. Und wenn wir natürlich dafür dann das als Testobjekt verwenden können, ist das natürlich für uns eine großartige Sache. The year before my son was born, I was on tour 270 days in the year, which is too much, <laughs> which is a lot. People at airports sometimes, like the staff at airports sometimes was like, hello, Mr. Grab and stuff. And I'm not sure whether that's a good sign or whether it's maybe a sign that you should change something about your life. partnership with Fortis was um, very pleasant and very surprising to me. I, um, I liked the watches beforehand and uh, I respect the company um, and I was positively surprised that they uh, would consider um, someone who's, who's in, a, in a special field like, like I am uh, to be one of their partners in crime and I've, I love things that focus on detail and that try to do their best at something. And I also like if something is, has a certain no bullshit kind of mentality about it, excuse my, my language, but it's like, um, I don't like the bling bling aspect of equipment. I don't like it in my uh, instrument. I don't like it in cars or in other design elements. I like functionality and, um, and Fortis represents that for me. So, um, I feel a kinship to them and I'm very happy to be working with them. <laughs>